hello friends i'm simpu from motion tutorials and in this video i will show you step by step process for making real video in after effects so let's get started first of all create new composition and here you can type composition name real video and uh, you can select preset social media portrait here and uh, frame rate 30 and duration 13 second is enough click on ok now let's import video footage here this is my video footage so let's import this and drag this video footage into the timeline and now let's remove this white background first so here this is the video footage and press N and now select this video footage and uh, control D for duplicate and go to the timeline and double click on this video footage and here you can see whole video showing here so let's go to the tool panel and select roto brush tool and select this character so here you can see the error frame rate mismatch this uh, video frame rate is 25 frame rate and uh, our composition setting we put in the 30 frame rate we need to change this so first go to the composition and here composition setting and here you can change the frame rate 25 both frame rate should be same so let's ok and now let's start and uh, select this roto brush cover this character with this roto brush yeah let's little bit zoom and here you can again select this roto brush and uh, press alt and use like this and again press alt select roto brush and press alt and uh, it is here okay so here it is this press alt and here fix this very easily fix this one ok so let's drag this time indicator at the end of the video and uh, it should be start to render wait for a few minutes and let's see the result it's done so let's click on this freeze click on here and uh, roto brush and refine age this is the final render so wait few minutes to remove this white background here okay finally it's done so let's um, go back into the composition and uh, here you can see two videos so let's select this first video and hide from here and here you can see remove white background here it's nice so let's so let's first create null object right click on it on here select this new and uh, select null object select this both video and uh, use pick whip and uh, select this null object and uh, press s for scale and uh, 
and set this video footage center so let's place this okay it's let's look nice so so next step right click on it and here go to the new and select solid layer so we need to first create background so here you can select click on ok and uh, go to the effect and preset and here type gradient use four color gradient and drag this gradient to this background layer and uh, drag this background layer at the bottom and now let's change this background color what do you want so here I select green color and uh, this one should be green yeah it's look nice so now again create new solid layer so go to the new and select solid layer and uh, here you can select white background and click on ok and go to the effect and presets and type grid here you can select this grid to this background white background and now let's drag this white background at the bottom and now let's see the result so let's animate this white background I mean this grid so here this is the grid property you can you can increase decrease this value stroke value so I'm put this stroke value 3 and let's animate this so here you can select this um, stopwatch icon button click on this uh, here corner and uh, select this grid layer and uh, press U here you can see this keyframe so let's little forward and here you can create new keyframe and uh, drag this you can just drag this first position and now let's play so here you can see grid animating here yeah it's look good so now next step go to the project and here you can double click on it and uh, import this illustrator logo and photoshop logo and import this and drag into the timeline and now press s scale value should be 20 and uh, you can decrease this scale value 70 okay now drag this logos at the top and uh, drag this illustrator logo at the right side and now let's select both logos and press P for position and uh, create keyframes here and now go to the little bit forward and create new keyframe and select first keyframe and drag this logo position at the bottom yeah it's good and again select all keyframes and uh, right click on it and uh, here keyframe assistance and uh, select easy and go to the graph editor and uh, let's little bit 
adjust this graph so select this first point and drag here and select the right point and drag little bit here now let's see the animation yeah it's look very nice so let's do one thing drag these layers little bit forward and now adjust these keyframes and uh, drag these both logos at the bottom of this video behind this video footage so it's look like this yeah it's very nice look so let's adjust this photoshop logo first appear first and second illustrator logo appear yeah looks good to me and now you can do one thing select this null object and here you can just scale this video footage when these logos appear so it's look I think very cool so here select scale and select this null object and press shift P for position so you can use this both keyframe and here create second keyframe and now scale this video footage and uh, use position and again select all keyframes and uh, right click on it go to the keyframe assistance and easy and go to the graph editor and let's little bit use this graph yeah now let's play it's looks good you can adjust little bit these keyframes and you can scale little bit uh, it should be uh, 180 I think it look good to me yeah it's it's fine so now select these logos and uh, apply glow effect so go to the effect and presets and uh, uh, type glow and here drag this glow this photoshop layer and uh, uh, just put this value 100 and uh, copy this glow if presets and uh, paste paste this select this logo illustrator logo and uh, paste on it and now let's play I hope this video will be helpful for you so if you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video.